in your demonstration you can fit this circuit anywhere wherever you want it's working properly thank you hello friends i hope you are doing great so today we are going to uh, study a project uh, which can be made by uh, the btech student polytechnic student or even school students so this is very interesting project which require very small amount of components so main component of this project is uh, this triple five timer and 4017 counter ic so before explaining the hardware to you let me explain you a little bit about circuit diagram so basically there are two sections so one section is this one this is a uh, triple five timer section this one is triple five timer section and this is counter section so this counter section will uh, display the data on the leds so the, there are three led this is green led this is yellow led or you can say that amber led and this is red led so you can take the screenshot of the uh, this circuit diagram so that we can proceed and if you want to make you can create this project at your home because it's very easy you just need to know how to do soldering on a pcb soldering is very easy if you don't know you can uh, watch our other tutorials regarding soldering okay so now if i talk about this triple five timer ic so this is a timer ic this will generate pulse at pin number three let me show you individual circuit of this triple five timer so this is the triple five timer circuit so basically over here uh, we are not using that uh, 4017 counter we are just using a led and a register to get the pulse so if you will make this circuit first on your hardware first you will make this circuit on your hardware then you need to make the second portion which is 4017 counter ic so first test this circuit you can test it at 9 volt as well although in this circuit we have uh, taken 5 volt so but you can test it at 9 volt as well and th there are uh, two register this register and this register you can you can make a uh, over here you can apply a variable register as well and there are two capacitors so you can apply variable capacitor as well if you want so that you can change the uh, the timing pulse which is at pin number three usually we use variable register over here right this r2 register we use of 10k 10k value right so this is simple triple five timer so first you can make this circuit once you will get the pulse at pin number uh, three then you can test the second circuit or you can attach this circuit to the second circuit which is 4017 counter so now if i talk about in this circuit so this circuit is same although we have uh, taken different value of register in this circuit diagram over here like uh, this is 100k this is a one uh, mega or you can say uh, if i talk about this register you don't need to use this register of uh, so much value you just need to use of 10k only or at max uh, you can use 100k right uh, this much big register you don't need uh, now if i talk about this second section this is 4017 counter uh, the pin number 14 of this 4017 counter will get the pulse from pin number 3 of this triple five timer and then uh, after getting the pulse it will drive data on this pin number 1 5 6 9 10 11 and 12 at a different sequence so you can see that this this is working in this way so these four pulse pin number 1 5 6 9 will be applied to this green led and then these two pulse will be applied to pin number uh, 10 and 11 on this yellow led or you can say amber led a register we are using 470 ohm and uh, at pin number 12 the pin number 12 will be the highest time so over here we are using red led right you can little bit uh, tweak the circuit if it's not working for you like uh, if i talk about uh, the green led we are using uh, a transistor as well transistor bc547 to drive this green led we are not directly uh, glowing this green led using uh, this register uh, we are also using a transistor bc547 so that we can amplify the current and that can drive the green led let me show you how here you can see that to drive this green led we are using a transistor over here right this transistor so this transistor uh, is just 
uh, amplifying the current so that it can drive this green led so now let me explain you the hardware so that you can make it we have designed the pcb as well of this uh, uh, particular project if you want to buy the kit you can buy the link we can provide in the description now if i talk about uh, this is again 401 counter ic section which is having all these diodes and we are using transistor as well we are using three transistor over here uh, just to drive the led which are uh, like uh, red green and yellow led this is uh, for the, uh, triple five timer section uh, this is variable register which will provide variable resistance to this trimer so that it can provide pulse at pin number 3 which will be fed to the pin number 14 of this 4017 counter IC and this is the power supply this power supply uh, because here we are not directly using uh, 9 volt uh, or you can say 5 volt power supply so we are using a separate power supply from transformer so this transformer uh, will get signal uh, from like 230 volt AC will be applied to transformer then transformer will be applied to this uh, rectifier and then rectifier will rectify and filter circuit will filter out that uh, output and then that will be applied to the uh, complete circuit which is uh, comprising triple five timer and 4017 counter IC so this is uh, a PCB uh, in this project we are not using PCB we are uh, just we have just made the circuit handmade so now let me just explain you uh, the circuit which we have made in our lab. Amplify timer circuit. So this timer circuit will generate pulse. So that pulse will be utilized by this 4017 counter IC. This 4017 counter IC then will generate signal for the traffic light. So basically we are using three light. First is a red light then amber light means yellow light then green light and this is the ic which will generate signal for these three lights red yellow and green so basically you cannot feel signal you cannot feed signal directly to the led so you need diode so these are the diode so four diode for green led two diode for yellow led and because there is only one signal at red led so we are not using any diode over there so if you want to download the circuit diagram you can download from the description given below so let me explain you about triple five timer circuit so as you know that the triple five timer circuit we use to generate the pulse and that pulse is generated at pin number three so that pulse is then fit to this ic which is 4017 counter ic and this actually this ic 4017 counter ic will generate these pulses which will then make the traffic light we are running it at 9 volt battery you can also give 12 volt uh, battery as well or 12 volt adapter if you have 12 volt adapter so now let me explain the circuit so this is the circuit basically we have made three section over here uh, the first section is this triple five timer the second section is this 4017 counter ic and the third section is this uh, green yellow and red led section so over here if you can see uh, this is triple five timer section this is triple five timer section and this is 4017 counter IC section we have used over here LED as well actually we have used uh, LEDs to check the signals whether all the pin of this 4017 counter IC is working properly or not but uh, in the starting there was use of these LED but now once you test this is working properly then we fed signal to this section which is traffic light section so over here we are using six diode as you can see in the circuit diagram as well over here we are using six diodes and uh, here also we are using six diodes then there are three leds but you can notice one extra component this is transistor so we have used transistor to drive this green led because voltage at this green led was low so this green led was not glowing so that's why we have used transistor as an amplifier to glow this led the transistor over here we are using as a amplifier there is no other use just simple to amplify the signal coming from these four diode so that it can drive the green led this is on off toggle button uh, this is 9 volt battery and this is a uh, triple five timer which will generate the pulse and this is the led this led actually is showing that whether pulse is generated or not let me show you if i cover these just you can see that if you can see that pulse is generated pulse is properly generated 
So this LED we have used just to check whether pulse is generated by this triple five timer IC or not. Then this pulse is fed uh, to the further circuit. Now you can see that pulse are coming over here and these are fed to this circuit. This is traffic lights circuit. Red LED, then there is green LED, then there will be uh, amber means yellow LED and then after there will be red LED you can see it's working properly you can change the timing of the circuit as well let me show you how you can change the timing let me have some screwdriver so you can use this type of uh, screwdriver uh, let me take another screwdriver so this is the now by rotating this you can change the timing now you can see pulse is very fast over here and over here as well timing will change you can clearly see because pulse was high over there you can see on triple five timer pulse was high so that's why uh, this traffic light signal is changing rapidly so this is all about this circuit if you have any doubt regarding this circuit you can ask me in the comment section if you like the video you can just thumbs up and if you want to download the circuit diagram then you can download from the description given below thank you so much for watching this video i hope you like it if you like it then you can subscribe my channel thank you so now uh, we have fit the circuit on a wooden board so that uh, there will be no wiring problem so this is done by this glue stick so this is glue stick when you will hot it it will become liquid and uh, when you leave it in the normal environment then it will solidify now this is the glue stick so through this we have connected the complete circuit on this wooden board so that we can use this circuit for the longer period of time for the demonstration purpose so this is the on off button with marker you can write down over here off this is off and this is on as soon as you will own it now you can see that circuit is on so you can in your demonstration you can fit this circuit anywhere wherever you want it's working properly